and welcome to Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're going to review an old, interesting C96 Broomhound Mauser. What we have here is a Mauser C96. What makes this Mauser C96 special? Not a heck of a lot. Uh, a friend of mine recently acquired this, and I just thought it would be interesting to show everybody. Um, and it is a genuine Mauser as we focus in here. You can see all the genuine Mauser markings. And we can see that you know this gun was manufactured in Germany by Mauser. C96, as you would expect, it's not a clone. Or at least as far as I can tell, it's not. It's equipped with uh, overly optimistic sighting options because it says you can go out to 1,000 meters with this, which, uh, yeah, good luck. You're a better person than I if you can do that. Here on the barrel, we have further confirmation of that it was made by uh, Mauser. What makes this gun interesting, though, is the following markings. Right down here at the bottom of the magazine well is some writing in Chinese that have been stamped in. Uh, not sure what these Chinese figures are, but clearly this gun was made over in Germany and at some point in its life it migrated to China, which is no surprise. The Chinese uh, were very enamored with the C96 pistols and they bought a lot of them. They bought so many that actually Astra went on and made a clone of it and uh, sold a lot of them in China as well because Mauser couldn't keep up with the demand. So nothing uh, special about this pistol other than the fact it's well, tra uh, well traveled and if it could talk, I'm just, the stories it could tell would probably be very interesting to hear. Other than that, it's a fully functioning Mauser. I uh, have not had any chance to put any live rounds through it, but just thought this would be something interesting everybody would like to see. For those of you not generally familiar with the functioning of the C96, uh, this pistol uh, came out about 1896, one of the first semi-automatic auto-loading pistols out there. So therefore, early on, it captured a share of a market just by being one of the first on the scene. Uh, it feeds from a 10 round fixed magazine, although there are later versions that came out that do have a detach detachable box magazine. Those are not nearly as common as these with the internal box magazine. Uh, the controls are very simplistic. You have a safety right here. Up in this position is safe. Pulling it down is moves the, into fire and all it really is is a hammer block. When you cock it and you put it in safe, the hammer still goes forward, but there's a gap right here. Here, we'll do that a little bit closer so you can see. And it just doesn't allow the uh, hammer to make contact with the firing pin. Now, when you cock and you put it in fire and you pull the trigger, it goes all the way forward. And as you can see here, it's making full contact with the firing pin. Therefore, you're setting off a shell and going down range. Now, the gun is loaded through the top right here. So when the slide is locked back, you charge this with a stripper clip, and that feeds in through the top here, much like you would, like say, in 1903 Springfield or an 03 Enfield, or excuse me, a 303 Enfield. Put it into the top, it presses down the follower. When the followers press down, that gives you clearance to let the slide go home once you're ready. The C96 is a short recoil system, so when you pull the trigger, the barrel, as you can see, travels back a little bit rearward before the gun unlocks. That's so pressures drop to a safe level, so when the bolt disengages, you don't get a uh, firing out of battery situation. This particular C96 is cut, so you can attach a shoulder stock to it, which is really good because with sights here that are graduated out to 1,000 meters, you're going to need a shoulder stock to even attempt it. And let's be honest, 7.65 Mauser, but 1,000 meters is pretty darn optimistic. I mean, you know, 100 meters would be uh, an accomplishment, but you know, that was the thinking of the day, you know, volley fire, put your rounds out there that with a whole bunch of guys firing these at a thousand meters, they thought you could hit. I am unaware of any actual proof that they actually ever even tested this out. I think this, they, they just made the gun this way as a selling point, to be honest. For all you trivia buffs out there, this gun may look familiar. C96 has been used in a lot of mo movies, too many to mention here. But one of the greatest action heroes to use a C96 was Han Solo because his blaster, the basis of it, was a Mauser C96 with a scope and a flash suppressor slash some type of muzzle device over the barrel. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to fire this pistol, which is too bad because I think the history of it would make it a fun experience. However, you know, maybe next time, as they say. We hope you found this quick overview of the C96 pistol interesting. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in for future interesting pistol reviews.